I've been hearing all the stuff about sloped roofs, just like you have, you know, the secret service could, you know, they might've got hurt if they were on a sloped roof. Although the shooters seem to be on a sloped roof, but yeah, that's here and there. I'm hearing now there might've been a second shooter on the water tower. The trajectory of the bullet didn't look right. You know, is a second shooter. Uh, apparently for about a half an hour, <laughs> there, there was reports that I guess some of the police took pictures of the shooter with a ladder and then with a range finder and then with a bag. So I think they had plenty of time, you know, and, and I've had people say, well, you know, there, there was probably stand down orders. You think if somebody has a weapon and they're pointing it in toward a crowd, um, maybe stop that. They, they don't need, if there's the threat of deathly action, they don't, they don't need orders. They can just act. I know how this works. So I, I, I don't know. I, there's, there's so much to this, you know, in some of the side stories too, this, this young person, apparently he was 20 years old. What kind of military training did he have? I want to know that, you know, part of my thing is when you go to fire a weapon, a lot of times in the most perfect conditions, you're at Shooter's World. We're looking for sponsors, by the way, Shooter's World. If you're if you're in a range and you're shooting down range and you have ear protection and eye protection and you know you're in a safe area, I, you know, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy to fire a weapon. If you're about to take somebody's life as a 20-year-old male, are you telling me the adrenaline isn't on, on high, pretty high? And, and you know what, by the way, if you're 20 years old, a lot of your formative years so far, I'd say they're not done. You, you've seen Snoop Dogg have a video that, that like makes a cartoon out of shooting Trump. You've seen Kathy Griffin with a head cut off of Donald Trump. You've seen Johnny Depp ask, you know, if people want, you know, an actor to assassinate a president. You, you, I mean, this is crazy. Madonna wanted to blow up the White House. Now, after last Saturday's attack, you got Jack Black and his buddy Kyle, you know, wishing that the shooter hadn't missed. I, I have so many things I've read here, and it's just th this is really, really scary and disgusting what's going on. You know, I mean, once you're like me, once you're open to conspiracy theories, everybody wants to message you and text you and send you theirs. And, and I have gotten a lot of screenshots of people basically celebrating last weekend. I'm sorry, but that's dangerous. I, I'm guessing if you're listening to us, you know that. I mean, that's kind of dangerous to to wish somebody dead. You know, the the opposite of democracy is political violence. You you want to be democratic. You you want people to have freedom and choice. And I don't know. I don't get it. So anyway, so I I really. We had one of our, our regular listeners. He knows who he is. He's the guy that brought us the jargon generator. He does a synopsis of the show every week. Pretty sure he knows who he is when he hears this. He asked, you know, he texted me several times after it. And he wanted to know, like, if that's the black swan we're looking for. Absolutely not. And I texted him and he texted him back. And we talked a little bit about it. Absolutely not. A black swan event is something we're not watching. I have been saying for probably a year now, Anthony, I'm sure you've heard it. I've been saying they cannot let this man back in office. Not only could he continue to seal the borders, make us energy efficient, all the stuff that he was doing, the, the, the gravy train would stop. You know, Bob Menendez, I'm looking at you. Apparently you were found guilty yesterday. Thank goodness. Slimy swamp creature. So, I mean, this, this thing with Trump, I think the Department of Justice, I think the CIA, I think the FBI, I don't think anybody can have this person come back. He might clean house. There might be a bunch of people incarcerated over the way this country's been run the last four years, but that's just me. So I've been saying for close to a year, the only two outcomes that are acceptable to the powers to be of this country. It's not the same time, second time I said that today, powers of powers to be. I don't know where that came from. The only outcome jail Donald J. Trump or kill Donald J. Trump. There's, there's no other outcome to this because it, they can't stop him. I mean, they cannot stop this man. And, and by the way, I, I did hear this morning, apparently some young lady, some woman, I only caught part of the story. 
I, I think that it was on the Chris Plant show. I think he said the woman's name was the only girl on the internet with a Twitter account. But anyway, so she's calling to, she wants somebody to kill the photographer who took the iconic photo of Trump getting up with a U.S. flag over him. Do, you know what I'm talking about, Anthony? You've seen that picture? Yeah, yeah. Trump gets up pretty defiantly. He was just shot. So I don't think anybody would, would blame the man if he actually crawled off the stage to safety. No, not this guy. You know, he wants his shoes. He's worried about getting his shoes back. He stood up, raised his fist. I'm sure a bunch of people in the audience did the same probably before him. And he was like, you know, come get me. Have you ever seen the movie uh, Scarface? <laughs> I mean, this, yeah. this is Scarface. Yeah. I can picture a pile of cocaine in front. Oh, wait, no, that'll be at the White House. So that'd be fine. I can picture, you know, Trump is... Come say hello to my little friend. You can't stop this guy. And everything that happens, he becomes more popular. So they, they, and my question, when we get to the, the end, which is coming close, I know I'm beating this to death and I said, I wouldn't spend too much time. Is that the end of the incivility? Is that, is that, did, was that the crescendo? Was that the peak of what's going to happen politically this year? Or was that just the beginning? I, I personally think we might have a lot more weirdness between now and, you know, the October surprise. October is when the big BRICS meeting is. October is when they're going to revamp the money market rules for gates and fees in this country. November 5th is the election. So to answer our client and friend's question, this was no way, shape, or form a Black Swan event. It was actually quite unsurprising. We had heard about other attempts on the man. They just kind of keep that hush-hush. So no, I think something's still going to pop out. You know, I mean, uh, odds are very good that we have some civil unrest in this country still. You know, that that that's getting more likely. Odds are we still go into World War Three, quite frankly. So I don't know. You know, one one thought too. Just this is me with sour grapes. So have you have you did it cross your mind that if this assassination attempt was on the other side of the political aisle, cities would have burned that night. Looking at you, Baltimore, Maryland, St. Louis, Chicago, L.A., New York City. People would have taken to the streets right away. You know, today is uh, Wednesday the 17th, I believe I mentioned, and, and I'm still waiting for the fires. I'm waiting for the CVSs and the Wendy's to burn down. Nothing. Nothing. But yet we're being told how right-wing extremists are the biggest threat to this country. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, a lot of people that care about the country... You know, the, the U.S. flag is the new hate symbol. It's like, what on earth happened to this country? Anyway, so how does it end? Do we have more fun? Is this is this it? I don't know. And by the way, um, the Secret Service, yeah, DEI, I mean, that's being hammered to death. I think it's a good time to fire Kim Cheadle. I think everybody involved needs to be fired. If, if this wasn't a PSYOP, if this wasn't a purposeful problem, then the incompetence level is pretty high. I did hear that the A team for Secret Service was watching Dr. Jill Biden. The, the B team was, was handed over to Trump. So that's, that's one of the things I heard. So I don't know. You know, they're, they're obviously they're not dumb enough to have it pop its head out yet. But sooner or later, the cries to disarm the public are going to come out. You know that, right? A scary black rifle. Apparently the shooter used an AR-15. By the way, if you're a sniper, use a 308. Don't use an AR-15. I mean, don't use a 223. But anyway, I, I, it's here, you know, here, Gabby Giffords and, and whatever his name is, Mark, the astronaut, have already come out. They they can, they can don't condone this. Well, good, good. I think everybody should probably say it's not a good idea to shoot each other. But you know what? I, I got a thought. I got a thought for people that believe in the Second Amendment because it, it, it is one of your rights. It's It's a right. So why don't we go about two or three years without a shooting? Let's let's not shoot up any schools or any cities. Let's get the gang violence. There was over 100 shootings on 4th of July weekend in Chicago, my hometown. It's like, let's go a while without any shootings. And then maybe I'll be more comfortable with the thought that we're playing nice enough where, where I don't think people need to be armed everywhere they go. I don't care where you go, store, church. You If, if you're a person that's you know, uh, uh, trained, obviously I think you should be trained. Let me preface that. I, I probably wouldn't feel safe in this world, you know, w without having something with you. Cause th this world's crazy. So I, I just think if the violence level decreases for a while, then maybe you'd get further 
with your talks on unarming people.